Hey friends, it's Ursus Avenge and happy Wednesday update day. It is the last week of the Halloween event, which means it is time to wrap up everything to do at the keep, but that doesn't mean that there aren't new things to talk about. So the first thing in the news reminds us that it is the last week, which means that it is the last week for things like the dailies in Gallopers Keep, but also the championship ranks. So if you have not gotten all the ribbons that you want, make sure to prioritize doing the championships because once the next update comes around, the championship ranks will be gone and those ribbons will not be obtainable anymore. It also means it's your last chance to collect tokens and redeem anything from any of the shops, including the magical horses. With the exception of Pepita and Whittier, because we know that they will be retiring from the keep, but will be added to somewhere else in Star Sea, but we just don't know where yet. It's also your last chance to get the two pets from Igor on the Haunted Trail Ride. Now onto the new things from this week. The Registrar is back and needs our help to go collect some of the ghosts that are still hanging out around Jorvik before the keep closes and they can no longer return home. This is a daily mission where every day you are going to get a new ghost to follow the riddle, find them, and bring them back to the keep. Based on previous years, if you miss one day of this daily, you'll still get a chance to do that day in addition to whatever day you're on. So let's say if you don't log in until next Tuesday night to try and wrap everything up, you will have all seven ghosts to collect. So with that, let's go learn about today's ghost and see where they're hiding. Oh, hello, you can see me, wonderful, then perhaps you can help me. I'm what you might call the registrar here at Gallopers Keep. I record the arrival of new ghosts and get them oriented and such. So of course I can't leave for a moment because, well, you never know when someone might turn up. Gallopers Keep is the perfect home for ghosts, but some of the spirits get restless and long to visit their former homes. At Halloween, when the veil between the living and dead is lifted, they wander. If they don't get back before the portals close, they will be unable to return. A few of our residents are cutting it close. If I give you some information on them, will you help get them home to safety? Excellent, we're lucky that you have the site. Let's get you started. Have you seen a ghost roaming in Fir Grove? No? Well, one of our keep ghosts have a love of exploring the wilderness when he was alive. He is always bringing up his great hiking journeys, and each year when he's able to visit Jorvik, he wanders off to explore, leaving no stone unturned. Figuratively speaking, of course, since I don't think he can move stones. He often spoke of the highest mountain that can be reached, offering the most stunning views. I don't know if he ever got there, but I start my search in Fir Grove. Will you find him for me and remind him that it's time to come back? I remember the Fir Grove one being the one that I struggled with. And I do also remember it being, I think, the one that I talked about in the video last time. So maybe I have a reference. Oh, wow. Okay. Like, you know, just nowhere, nowhere near the highest point. I guess you were on your way to the highest point. Uh, if you're looking for this ghost, uh, they are sort of outside... Uh, the lower section where you used to start the registering trail for like the question festival. This is where you would start it um, They're on the path below it uh, And if you need coordinates 312 183 oh dear oh dear which way to go. I'll never make it in time. Yeah, you sure won't oh Hi, hello there I'm afraid I don't have time to chat. You see, I'm searching for something. What's wrong, you ask? Oh, I just promised myself long ago that I'd take time to enjoy the view from Jorvik from its highest point. I heard it's perfect for the most spectacular view of sunset. I used to love exploring and hiking, but I was always caught up in my work. It always seemed like something more important kept coming up. I would tell myself one day, but instead one day, suddenly there were no days. Will you help me reach the highest point in Jorvik before I return to the keep? I remember. Okay, we have to fulfill, fulfill their dreams. And then, uh, and then they'll go back to the keep. Okay, now at this point, I'm assuming they want to go to the red string trail. Oh, it's more beautiful than I ever imagined. Thank you, thank you. Ah, the air. I can actually catch the scent of autumn in the wind. How is such a thing possible? So crisp and so fresh. Yes, yes, I suppose it's time to return. It's been such a lovely ride with you. You have brought me peace. I shall remember the view and recall your kindness throughout eternity. Thank you. I'm ready to return to Galloper's Keep. After you return them to the keep, they will automatically make their way over to the tower. You just gotta complete the quest with the registrar to uh, bring them inside. There you are, both safe and sound. I was starting to get worried. Thank you, Arya. And there he goes. And then you just, you know, come back every day for another ghost to hunt. Speaking of new things in the keep, if you've been keeping up with Linda's quests, um, 
Last week would have brought you up to... Also, spoiler alert, if you've not done Linda's quests, um, you should do them. Uh, they give you, like, so much experience, like, player experience, horse experience, and also, like, so many tokens. Just, just, if, if you don't do it for anything, player experience and tokens. Like, seriously, it's so worth it. But as a warning, this is going to spoil the previous quests as well as the one that is for today, which is returning from last year. Skip to the next timestamp to avoid the spoilers. So, if you have been keeping up with Linda's quest, the last thing that we left off with was learning about Runehammer and Gunnar uh, destroying the runestone behind Jorvik's stables. Uh, and I believe this quest that Casper has for us is the continuation that we got, like, I think two years ago. It's like the end of the quest, technically. I believe this is the one where you... the Spymaster is involved and Magnus Steinar is kind of like avoiding Galloper. But uh, Galloper, I think you have to choose whether or not Galloper gets him at the end or not. Like you have to choose whether to spare him or to sacrifice him to Galloper. I believe that is the quest that Casper has because it's just titled, Where's the Fire, Galloper? And because this isn't a brand new quest, I believe I've already covered it in the past. If not, I mean, I'll double check. I did record all of the previous quests too, so maybe just to have a record, I'll just upload a separate video of what that ha what what happened, what it was. Um, but it is just just the whole quest. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna be doing it again because it's not technically new, but um, again, I'm still going to do it, just not on the video because player experience and autumn tokens. So that's all I have to say about uh about that quest. It's not gonna start with Linda. It's going to start with Casper, and um, it's basically like, oh, Galloper left the keep in a hurry, go find him. And then Magnus is like, no, I'm being hunted again, no. And that's just kind of the quest. All right, so moving on, we've got to go to Moreland. Next thing to talk about is uh, we've got new code variations, and they are hanging outside the portal to Galloper's keep uh, at the Moreland, the Moreland entrance, um, you know, like where they usually do the, uh, event hubs and stuff like that. Um, we've got four coat variations. So we have four new Halloween-inspired coat variations, one for the Arabian, one for the American salad bread, and two for the Saint. These four coat variations will be permanent. They will only be standing outside of the Moreland portal for this week only, but... After the Halloween event is over and done, they will be moved to wherever their other counterparts are. So the self Francais will go with the other self Francais. The American Saddlebred will go to Starshine Ranch with the other American Saddlebreds. And then the Arabian will go to Goldspurs Farms with the other Arabians. So these are not time limited. They're just spooky season inspired. So they're a good time to get one now if you're feeling uh, the call of Halloween. And maybe you've already trained your other Halloween horses. Despite the changes that happened last week to the Sal Francais with the removal of the wiggle butt, I do still think I'm going to get this one. I've still been riding around my Sal Francais, and while I am still sad, the wiggle butt is gone. It's still a good, it's still a good gallop. And honestly, the gallop itself, not the fast gallop or the faster gallop, still has a little bit of wiggle, and I do appreciate that. So I'm still getting the Sal Francais, and I'm going to aptly name it Heartbroken. <laughs> Or broken heart. I don't think I can do heartbroken, but I can do broken heart because I am still broken hearted about the wiggle butt, but still accepting its fate. I should probably also talk about the prices. <laughs> the Arabian is 950 star coins. The American Saddlebred is 900 star coins. And both the self Francais are 900 star coins. So that is it for this week's news. Next week, we have a little teaser of would anyone be interested in a bigger wardrobe? At the end of the Halloween reels where we got all the last codes, uh, just in case I'll put all of the codes we got here, we did get a little sneak peek uh, at a little bit of a riddle that said, what did it even say? Before the next new moon, you will have more room. And I believe the next new moon is actually supposed to be like Friday or something. Uh, but anyways, uh, so it's gonna be a little bit after that. So uh, next week, more room in our wardrobe. I'm hesitant to say that it is the full wardrobe UI update, even though we are expecting that by the end of the year. So it could potentially be that. I don't know if it's just more room in anticipation of that. I will leave that to discover next week. Uh, and speaking of more things to discover, I expect that we'll probably get a new blog post tomorrow. And we might also get um, possibly a next up in Jorvik. So we'll see. 
stay tuned for that. I hope you all have a wonderful, happy, and safe Halloween, and I will see you all in next Wednesday's update. Bye!